skin the brain. So now we are in Sopot, uh, a little, I don't want you to say little, a medium sized town uh, by the sea. Mm -hmm. And later on, we can walk around the beach. And now we are going to find some uh, the, the stats here, the station is over there, the train station. And uh, we just we just hop in, and now we are in the, the town center, oh. the main road. So let's see you. Let's go. I'm always being surrounded by, by pigeons. By pigeons. Go which on. Which hate. Go on, but I hate go on. Sorry for the love. But I hate go on. I mean, you told me pigeons are go on. And uh, it's very funny because I like the dish go on key. It's like the, the dish, like the meat and rice mixed together and wrapped inside kapusta cabbage. But then I hate like the go on. <laughs> I like go on key, but I hate go on. What's this? So this one is Shve Domek. It means wobbly house. Mishu told me Mishu was like when we are walking from there, Mishu was like, you will notice a little strange thing. I think it's so cute. It's like the one that you saw in Disney cartoon, like in Mickey Mouse cartoon, like where the characters live. It's like very wobbly. Wobbly and like curvy. I really like it. Yeah. Huh? And even like the, the, the colors they use are very cartoon like, mm. like green with bright yellow. Like even the windows and like the, the roof. Mm -hmm. You never see this in Hong Kong. I don't think you see this in London. It's very, very special. Mm. I love it a lot. Mm -hmm. Like if this is like, I know it's Costa, Co uh, Costa Coffee and like it's not like a house right mm. but if like we have our own house now like when Mishu and me have our own house i want our house to be built like this way <laughs> do you think it's kawaii kushu and mm -hmm. it's really like kushu uh. oh no my god i think it's so so cute so you feel you feel happy and like happy and like cartoon like and like all jolly when you hop out and in mm -hmm. of the kushu it's so cute. And this town is very beautiful too. Look at like all the colors, like red. And even the trees look like brokua, like broccoli. They are all very round trees. The lamppost is decorated by flowers. It's such a pleasant town. Like compared to Gdansk, I love Gdansk too, but Gdansk is more spread out, it's a more big city. This one is a smaller town. Like one straight road mm -hmm. and with all like the houses or or like, you know, lining up. It's like, it's a very pleasant, like, very dreamy, dreamy city. I, I like it. It's not city, right? It's town. Yeah, it's a town. It's, a town. Uh, yes. it's like a very dreamy little town. I love it. Especially this one, Kishin Vidomek. Highly recommend you guys to see it. It's like, uh, like the storybook come alive, you know. Very I was like quite quite shocked just now when I when I was like guessing what kind of strange feeling I would see when Mishin told me that and then I suddenly see it and I was like, oh! Kawaii. So, so cute. Like when I was smaller, I always wanted to live in those kind of very like Mickey Mouse, Winnie the Pooh, Alice in the Wonderland, that kind of like cartoon houses. I don't want to be them, but I want to, it's not like I want to be a Disney princess or something, but I just think their house and like their world, like the environment is so cute. And I just think like, oh, this one is just like, it comes alive, it's so adorable. The little uh. window, like the right on top, looks like a very like a very Disney style. So now we are um, uh, in the on top of the pier, and um, just now Michu said that this one, the the uh, the big hotel, the. The one with a little, how do you say that? The, the pointy thing. The mask. Uh, with a mask. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's the most luxurious hotel mm. in Sopot. Where like famous people stay, right? Mm. Like Putin mm. or like, you know, I know it's not good, but like Hitler, but like, you know, like just the really famous ones. For me, because I would, I, I'm so happy to come here in winter because it's like, the air is crisp and it's like more um, more more pleasant, more soothing. Because in summer it would be too hot, right? How many degrees generally would it be oh, in, in summer? summer plus 30 sometimes. Yeah, it would be too hot. And I, 
for me because I like seeing the sea but I don't like actually swimming in the sea myself I'm always scared of swimming in the sea I know how to swim but I, I'm just like like because the sea is always quite like dark blue in color and like it's very deep and I always imagine that there are monsters it's just what I always imagined since I was small so I don't like swimming in the sea and I don't like um, going on the beach because I hate the feeling of sand like under my legs I don't know if any one of you feel the same so please tell me if you guys feel the same so I don't feel alone because everyone loves the beach right like so many people love the beach but for me I don't like going to the beach but I like it like just like now when the air is quite cool and then you walk along instead of like really going in the beach so I like looking at the sea and feeling how calm it is in winter, but I don't like really going here in summer. Um, so you guys can see, just now I talk about the swan. Some of them hop on the beach now, but one of them is still swimming. Just now we saw like, probably like a few of them like swimming in the sea. Very cute, very funny. The sea is quite calm. I like it. Let's go and find some some um, yummy food. Yeah. Okay. I would love to live in the Kishivet mm. So now we are going to have lunch. Our food just come. I've ordered the pierogi. This is uh, um, Gengshong. So it's the uh, pierogi with goose meat and the kashanka, the blood sausage. And Michu ordered the bigos. So. Can Mitchell you explain what's the big sausage? Big sausage, cabbage, stew, and sausage. And they give us a side of bread. So now I'll try the pierogi first. With like a creamy mushroom sauce. And inside is the goose meat. It's like, again, filled with ingredients. Very, very full. The taste of the goose, like the goose is very strong. And and not only is strong, the texture is like softer than average like pork pierogi. Like this one is softer and the taste of the goose, I actually really like it. Like I like it better than, I, I already like like average pierogi, but I like goose feeling pierogi more. And the creamy mushroom sauce tastes like, hmm, bits of mushroom. It, it tastes like the cream of mushroom soup that you always have in like French restaurant, like the cream of mushrooms, very creamy. And the portion is actually big too. How many we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight pierogi with like full of cream. I like it. The goose flavor is very special. And now with the blood sausage, two big blood sausage. So as you guys know, I've had blood sausage for like the kashanka for three times. One is for shnedanya, pierogi's kashanka. The next one is, the second one is last night when I have pierogi hopski, which is kashanka again. And this one is the third time. And I have to say this one is the grainiest. Like, I think they add the most, I think what they add is buckwheat. Oh, okay. I think it's they add the most buckwheat in it. It's still yummy, but it's the most grainy. But for me, like it's still yummy, but I like um, it to be filled with more blood. I like more blood than buckwheat because I don't really like buckwheat, so I would prefer it to be like less grainy and more like mushy in a sense. The meat is quite quite chewy, quite hard, not not soft at all. It tastes grilled and minty at the same time. I don't know if they add mint, but it tastes very minty. I like the cabbage a lot because the cabbage mm, is like infused with like all the grilled flavor and all the meaty juice. I like the cabbage better than the meat itself. So we just had lunch. Meiski. Meiski, a uh, support, this restaurant. Which yeah. translates to the town brewery of support. Ah, the town brewery of support. Mm -hmm. So, but we didn't drink any alcohol. And let's go to Oliva. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 